Hola from El Pescadero. I'm tapping into my inner zen and I'm going to be completely honest. I just spent 40 minutes trying to film a video and the wind knocked over my camera and stopped my recording so I lost it. So I'm trying to recenter and find some calmness. Obviously, I should not quit my day job, but this is a passion of mine is health and wellness and Pilates with purpose. So on that note, I'm already warmed up. So get ready for some ab work. <laughs> okay, but on a serious note, um, I would like to start this this Pilates with purpose as I do back at home um, with a mindful meditation. So just find a comfortable seated position in your living room, in your bedroom, outside. You can play this video. I'm trying to upload this to the YouTube channel so that you can do it anytime, anywhere. So just find a comfortable seated position or if you want to lay flat on your back with palms facing up like in Shavasana just to calm the mind, quiet the mind, open up the heart. So I like to sit up nice and tall. I move a little bit of the cushion on my bum out of the way so I can really feel those sits bones grounding into the mat. Shoulders are nice and relaxed and I want you to imagine from your base a string pulling up lifting up through the crown of your head so you're sitting up nice and tall your shoulders are relaxed your hands can gently rest on your knees you can cup them and just rest them in your lap we all have so many things running through our minds right now worry and fear complete normal emotions and feelings that should not be dismissed or pushed aside. We should acknowledge them. And then just kind of compartmentalize and they're still there, but let's just set them, let's just set them aside for this time. They're valid feelings, we're human. But right now you're taking this time for you, to take care of, of your mind, your body, your spirit. We do play so many roles in, in our lives as parents, as spouses, siblings, children, adult children, right? We're worried about our parents, we're, we have colleagues and friends, but we're no good to everyone else if we don't take time to take care of ourselves and find some calm, help build our immunity, protect our immune system during this time. It's important. So finding some, some quietness, closing our eyes, focusing on breath is something that we all deserve and that we should really make an effort to find time for. You are important. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Filling up chest, ribs, belly. Audible exhale. <sighs> Let it all out. Let's do that two more times. Let's just take all the energy we have. Deep inhale. Filling up those lungs. <sighs> Fully exhale. Deep inhale as we, we receive lots of love and light. On that inhale, on the exhale, get rid of any stress, worry, and fear that we might be feeling. Just coming back to a natural, natural rhythm in our breath.
trying to forget about any other to-do list things we need to do today. Just focusing on that breath. And separate from this video, if you find yourself anxious, worried, take a couple minutes, find a quiet space where you can just focus on your breath. And although the mind can get distracted, some tips that I've learned, count on your inhale. One, two, three, four, as you fill that chest. And double that count on the exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you don't want to count, just say inhale as you Take a deep inhale. And in your mind, say exhale as you exhale. You may hear noises around you in the background. Acknowledge them and then return back to your breath. may hear the crashing of the waves behind me, chirpings of, chirping of the birds around me, or maybe out your window. Hear it, maybe even acknowledge it and smile to it. And then just return back to your breath. Your true life form is your breath. Be aware of it. Try to nurture and calm it. your eyes closed. I'm going to read today's reading from Journey to the Heart, Daily Meditation on the Path to Freeing Your Soul. Today's March 21st. Nurture the seasons of your soul. Study nature's ways, learn her rhythms her seasons, her cycles. See how she hibernates and rests during the cold winter, using that time to replenish and heal. See how she bursts forth in a slow crescendo of green and bright colors over the spring, rejoicing in the inevitable new growth. See how she gives her all, her grandest performance over the summer months before gradually descending into a final burst of changing colors in autumn. Watch her cool down, return to her depths, and again take time to replenish. These same seasons are within us. There are times to take action, to be busily involved with creating and doing and participating and giving. There are quieter times when we are being prepared for those times of activity. We cannot give and give without taking time to replenish ourselves. There are times of gentle growth when the first blades of grass, the first signs of spring begin to emerge in our lives. Whether those signal a new stage of per personal growth, a new stage in a love relationship, or the first buds of life on a project we're creating. And each season, each time leads into the next. There is purpose and value in each day of your life, in each season of your life. Nurture your time of action, of creating, of doing, and value your quieter times of going within. The more you study nature, the more you will learn about yourself. Nurture and trust the seasons of your soul.
returning back to our breath. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. Two more. Deep inhale. Audible exhale. One more. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Good. Beginning to bat the eyelashes open, returning back to the room, back to the video with me. Let's take a deep inhale, lifting the arms up towards the sky, clenching those hands, reaching, pointing through that index finger. Let's begin to wiggle out of the waist, making sure shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Wiggling in the body. Maybe a wiggle. Gentle twist side to side. I had music playing, pretend there's move into the groove. Just flow, let your body flow. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, reaching through those fingertips. Let's take a deep inhale. And then exhale, gentle bend towards the left, reaching. Imagine all this energy coming through those fingertips. Shoulders away from the ears, chest is open, and reach. Anchoring in both hips. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale. Opposite side, again, reaching, reaching through the side body, imagining energy coming through, up to the arms, out those fingertips. Again, opening up that chest, shoulder away from the ear. Nice stretch, breathing into it, returning back to center. Let's slowly lower the hands, palms, pressing down towards the mat couple shoulder rolls so we bring those shoulders up towards the ears squeeze 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 and relax let's do it again squeeze 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 oh, and relax again lifting through the crown of the head shoulders are relaxing now let's just gently bring those shoulders up towards the ears squeezing them back Squeezing those shoulder blades together, our wings, dropping them down, bringing shoulders forward, up towards the ears, squeezing back those wings, dropping down, rounding forward. One more. Bringing shoulders up, pressing, squeezing those shoulder blades back and together, those wings, lowering down. Let's reverse it. So we squeeze those shoulder blades back, opening up that chest. Bring the shoulders up towards ears, forward, relaxing them down. Again, squeeze it back, lift it up, round it forward, lower it down. One more time, squeeze, lift, round it forward, relax it down. Good. Let's take the hands. We're going to rub them together. Let's just bring them to the back of our necks right now. Since we can't go out for a massage, we're all homebound, social distancing. Let's give ourselves some loving. Get rid of that tension. Really squeeze your neck. Maybe gentle, gentle twisting side to side. Letting the eyes drift up, slowly lower down, just rub. This is where I carry all my tension, right here, my shoulders. Give yourself some loving. Let's take hands to opposite shoulders. Massage that out a little bit. If your legs are crossed, Let's switch the other foot in front, massaging those shoulders. Let's stop right here. Hug yourself. Let's take those fingers, wrap them around as far as you can to the backs of the shoulder blades. Just gently bow the head, press into those fingers.
Whatever you want to tell yourself right now, whatever affirmation you might want to set for yourself, I am enough, I am healthy, I am okay, I love you, we've got this. Just bow into that, press into those fingertips. Just take a breath and state your affirmation. How often do we ever take time to love ourselves, love our spirit, love our being? Taking those hands gently, working them down the arms, it's giving nice massage to your arms, your forearms, hands. Let's take that, it's my right arm, uh, pressing your palm forward towards me, just a gentle pull on those fingertips. Again, relaxing those shoulders away. If you want to keep your eyes closed, if you're watching me, a lot of times my eyes are closed. I like to move through movements and focus on my breath when I do my practice. So a lot of times my eyes are closed. So whatever works for you, if you're new to, to working out with me, I understand if you want to watch the video, that's good, that's okay. I'm really working on my cues so that hopefully if you want to keep your eyes closed, let's switch hands, palms facing forward, gentle pull with that other hand on those fingertips. Pressing through the palm. Good, taking that right hand now, flipping that palm down. Nice, just gentle, gentle press. Again, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Switching hands, fingertips facing down. Gentle press on the top of the hand. Wiggle the fingers. Good, lowering the hands down. Let's extend the legs nice and long, sitting on those sits bones. Maybe moving that cushion so you can really ground into those sits bones, sitting up nice and tall again, imagining a string coming through the center body, lifting through the crown of the head. We're gonna inhale, lift those arms up. Gentle wrist rolls all the way down. Feet can be pointed or flexed. Opposite direction, bringing those hands up. Eyes can follow. Again, back down, opposite direction. Hands can rest down by side. Let's tighten those glutes up so we're lifting up. We're going to flex those feet and point, flex, point, flex, point. Hands can be down at your side, resting on your thighs. Flex, when you flex, really press through those heels, toes coming back towards you. And then point, nice point, nice arch in your foot and flex. And point, and flex, and point, and flex, and point, and flex, and point, and flex. Okay, rotating those ankles. Around, opposite direction. Give those legs a little wiggle, 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 wiggle. You know what? Let's shimmy those shoulders. So we're gonna alternate those knee bends. And as you bend, right, left shoulder aims towards that bent knee. Maybe snap your fingers. Doot. Toot, toot, toot. Okay, coming back up, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take our hands, inhale, rise them up, fingertips, welcoming love and light and health and well-being into our, our minds, our heart, our bodies. Exhale, 
gently forward fold wherever that means for you hands may come down on thighs or shins if you can grab the toes or the heels but again if you're just warming up the body i unfortunately just did a video that didn't work out so i'm a little more flexible at this stage but we'll get there at the end of the video you'll see how much further you can stretch down once we warm this body up. So deep inhale through the nose. Eyes are looking between the legs. On the exhale, you just try to sink a little deeper, surrendering to gravity. Deep inhale, feeling, feeling those ribs expand. Exhale, sinking a little deeper. Keep that breath going. I love to breathe anywhere from at least three to five to eight breaths into my stretches that has helped me increase my flexibility over the years. It all started with um, yoga for me and really focusing on breath and, and keeping my eyes closed and listening to my body. And over the years, I could not do this, what I'm doing right now a couple years ago. It, it takes time, so be kind, be gentle to yourself. Breath is very powerful. It's our life force, and it will help us in, in yoga and stretching and Pilates and our weight training to Bring the oxygen to the muscles, increase flexibility, strengthen our body. The breath goes hand in hand with the workout. Very important. Good, slowly walking those hands up the legs. Let's make our way onto our knees. Sitting back on those heels. If, if your knees bother you and this is too much, you can just come to a seated position. We're going to inhale, lifting those arms up again, relaxing, plugging those shoulders down. And we're going to open up the chest and the arms, dropping those elbows down so we have those nice cactus arms. Exhale, rounding forward, pulling that navel to spine, pressing the tops of the hands together. Inhale as we reach up. Exhale, forward fold. So it's just a different cat and cow. Inhale, reach those arms up, lowering elbows towards the mat. Exhale, round it forward. Moving at your own pace, whatever feels good. You might want to hold a pose a little longer. Exhale, pulling that navel to spine, rounding forward, eyes looking down at your thighs, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift and open. Open to love and light, healing energy. Exhale, rounding forward. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold it forward. Good. Lowering the hands down. Let's, again, you can stay on your, your knees. If you're seated, that's fine too. If it's too much on your knees. Let's just take the right ear and we're just going to gently drop it towards that left shoulder. Again, shoulders relaxed away from, from the ears. So shoulders relax. Gentle dropping of that ear towards that shoulder. Breathe into it. returns back to center. Let's drop that opposite ear towards opposite shoulder. Head returns back to center. We're going to drop that chin towards the chest, feeling a nice lengthening in the back of the spine, the back of the neck. Breathing into this. 
Returning head back to center. And just gently tilting the head back. Eyes looking up. Without overextending. Head returns back to center. Let's make our way onto hands and knees. Shoulders are over those wrists. I want the fingers spread nice and wide on the mat, pressing into all 10 fingertips. So press into those fingertips. Tent the, tent the fingers, press into those fingertips. That feeling is what I want you to feel as you lower the palms down. Now press into those fingertips. Again, shoulders are over those wrists, hips are over the knees. Nice flat back, crown is reaching nice and long towards me. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat, pulling that navel to spine. Let's just ground here for a couple breaths. Extending that right leg nice and long behind you, pressing through the heel. We're just going to hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift that opposite arm, reaching your fingertips towards me, shoulders away from the ears. Hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Lowering the hand and the knee. Readjusting, regrounding. Let's extend that left leg nice and long, pressing through the heel, navel to spine. Finding our balance. Hips are square to the mat. Hold this for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Reaching fingertips nice and long towards me. Shoulders away from the ears. Pressing through that back heel. Imagine energy shooting out from the back of that heel. Out those fingertips. And we're we'll hold this for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, lower the hand and knee, send those knees nice and wide, touching big toes together as you press the bum towards the heels, walking hands nice and long on the mat for your first child's pose. Lowering forehead down to the mat. We're going to take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, sinking deeper into those hips. We'll just hold this for a couple breaths. Taking this time to melt into our mats, surrender to gravity. Anything that may be worrisome, just melting away into the mat. Focusing on our breath and our bodies. Gently lifting that forehead slightly off the mat just so you can walk those fingertips over to the right side of the mat. Left hand rests on top of the right. Even distribution in those hips. So you feel a nice stretch in that left side body. Deep inhale, lowering that forehead to the mat. Exhale, sinking deeper. A couple more breaths. Good. Gently lifting that forehead back up, walking fingertips over to the opposite side of the mat. Left hand resting, I'm sorry, right hand resting on top of that left hand. Feeling a nice stretch in that right side body. Deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. (sighs) 
Maybe reaching that fingertip out a little further from the right hand so you can really feel that stretch. Good, lifting that forehead slightly. Coming back to center. We'll hold this for another two breaths. Good, gently lifting that forward, tenting those fingers so you can walk those fingertips back towards the knees. We're gonna pull the knees in, walk those hands back out. Again, fingertips evenly spread into the mat, shoulders are over those wrists, hips over the knees. We're gonna curl those toes under and begin to lift the hips up towards the sky. Crown of head reaching. Imagine that string I talked about. So it's coming out of the, the top of your head and it's hitting right in between, right in the middle of where your palms are pressed into that mat. So you don't wanna curl that head in, look down at your knees. You're looking down at the mat crown of the head reaching between those hands lifting up through the hips you're on your toes just begin to pedal out bending alternating knee bends we're going to walk the dog so again listening to your body maybe you want to bend into one leg and hold it a little longer if it's tight some tension just walking out your dog the best for you. Good, now trying to press those heels as close as you can towards the mat. Let's hold this for a breath. And the exhale, letting the chest press towards those thighs again. Crown of the head is reaching towards those towards the middle of, of those palms. Shoulders away from the ears. Let's press up to a plank position. We're going to hover those knees above the mat, press the bum towards the heels, and then lift the hips, lower the heels. So we're going to do this a few times. So forward to plank, drop the knees to hover, Press the bum towards the heels, pressing into those fingertips, lifting up through the hips, lowering the heels two more times, pressing forward to plank, hover those knees, bum to heels, lift up through the hips, lower the heels. Let's do one more. We'll hold this plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hover the knees, press it back, lift the hips, lower the heels. Hold this for two breaths. Good. Gently walking those fingertips towards the feet. I'm going to readjust. You can stay here. You want to make sure your legs are hip distance apart. We're going to grab on to the elbows and a gentle sway side to side for ragdoll. Shaking the head, yes. Shaking it, no. You can keep this going if you want to bring your palms to the mat and just walk fingertips side to side play around here maybe alternating your knee bends again lifting up through the hips toggle the feet in just slightly so your feet are, your ankle, knee, and hip is a nice one straight line. We're going to bend those knees. Finger. Best. Opening up that chest. We're going to drop that chin towards the chest as we begin to lift. 
lift, straighten the spine from the hips, pressing the chest towards the thighs. Without overdoing it, wherever your body can go to right now. So slowly bending down. Hello. Drop that head. Begin to press the heels down, straightening the legs, lifting up through the hips. We'll do two more. So bending down. Hello. Drop that head. Lift the hips. Let's hold this for a breath. We're going to do one more. So bend those knees. Coming up. Hello. Drop that head. Begin to Release those heels towards the mat. Gravity taking over, lifting up through those hips, taking those hands, the arms, wrapping them behind the knees if you'd like, grabbing onto the elbows, relaxing that head. Deep inhale. On the exhale, pressing chest towards the thighs. Again, slight bend in the knee. The knees if you need to. Actually bend. Let's all just bend in the, the knees while we're here. So that chest is resting on our thighs and gently begin to lift the hips as far as you could go without overdoing it. Again, gentle bend in the knees. And your hands don't have to be clasped. They could be in front of your of your shins. And we gently lift up through the hips, straightening those legs. Again, deep breaths into this. So bend those knees. Again, if you want to clasp those arms, your chest is resting on those thighs. Head's nice and relaxed, lifting up through the hips. And let's just hold this stretch. Couple breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out, sinking the chest deeper towards the thighs. Two more breaths. Again, this is what builds our flexibility, breathing into these wonderful stretches. Always remembering to listen to our body. Nothing should ever hurt. No pain. Good, on crossing those arms, let's let them just hang and dangle. We're going to put a slight bend in those knees, pulling that navel to spine as we gently round up one vertebra at a time, nice and slow and controlled. Deep inhale, lifting those arms up. Exhale, let's forward fold, nice flat back. Hips are parallel, folding down. Inhale, we're going to halfway lift, eyes forward, looking down, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, lift those arms up, press those palms together, clasp the hands, point the index finger, wiggle out of the waist. Press those palms together, bringing them to heart center. I'm going to begin with some Pilates work, but for those who are new to Pilates, I'm going to go over a couple, couple important cues that you'll, that you'll hear me use. So first you want to make sure your box is square. When I say that, I want you to imagine a line being drawn from one shoulder to another down to your hip bone, over to your other hip bone, up to the shoulder. So keeping our box square. That means keeping everything in line so we don't, right now my box isn't square by me laying like, you know, leaning like this. So by sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relax, my box is square. Pilates stance, if you bring your feet together, slightly rotate those legs out, about fist distance apart, so it's not a full first position as it is in dance. 
about fist distance apart, I want you to imagine squeezing those heels together and imagine a zipper starting at the heel and you're zipping up that zipper, calves pressed together, inner thighs, tighten those glutes. When you get here, where our zippers are on our jeans, imagine they just came out of the dryer, right? What do we sometimes do? We pull that navel to spine and pull it up, push it in, tuck it up, that's our scoop. So imagine that. So when I talk about scoop, this is the feeling. Right now, from my heels up to my navel, full engagement, I'm working this right now, just from standing here. Breathing, lateral breath is very important in Pilates. So while we're standing here in our Pilates stance, place your hands on your ribs. I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose, feeling those ribs expand laterally out like a balloon. Exhale always through the mouth and fully, all air, those ribs contract in, tight like a corset. So inhale, exhale. And our exhale is typically double the length of the inhale. So really getting all that air out. When we do this lateral breathing, right, and I'm tightening right now everything, I have my scoop and I'm breathing, I'm working the transverse muscles which starts here and wrap and support our spine. Very important, they're the deeper tissue, the deeper muscles um, that support our spine, critical for Pilates. So based on that, let's make our way. We'll do a few exercises and I'll pick up on another day and get more into, um, get into more of the other exercises, but today we'll just start off with some basics if, if this is new for you. So coming to the front of your mat, crossing one hand over the other like a genie, I want you to make your way down to a seated position. Typically, we step back with one foot, lowering down to the knee, making our way to seated. However you need to get there is fine. Sitting up nice and tall. Legs are hip distance apart. I want you sitting up on your sits bones. Feet flat on the mat. If you can't do that, it's okay as long as you have your heels pressed into that mat. But if you can, flat feet. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Let's bring the hands out in front, palms facing down. Shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. We inhale as we prepare, exhale, sink it back to our shaky point, pulling that navel to spine, eyes are looking down at our thighs. I want you, another important thing is our cervical nod, so I want you to imagine you're holding a little clementine orange under your chin, so that chin is being pushed back and tilted down slightly to hold that orange. We always wanna protect our neck, lower back or spine. We're just gonna hold this and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. You should be shaking right now, I am. Inhale, exhale. If at any time it's too much, you can lower down. So we'll hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sit up nice and tall. Good, relaxing those shoulders. Let's do this again. Palms forward, shoulders relaxed, navel pulling the spine, holding that orange. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, sinking it back to our shaky point. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, sit up nice and tall. The next one, we're gonna take 10 counts to make our way flat back. Again, making sure on our way down, our box is square. So imagine that line hip to hip coming up to shoulders. When we're lowering down, we don't wanna wobble side to side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, sink it back nice and slow. Don't wobble, don't rock, keep that box square. Ten. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the head. Let's bend the knees. Hug them in towards the chest, wrapping the hands around our, our shins right now, and just a gentle rock side to side. Again, try not when you're on your back, I catch myself, to let that head arch. Remember that, that little orange or a little tomato under, under your chin. So just gentle rock. This feels good. So the first exercise in Pilates is 100s. So for those, again, that are new to this, I'm going to switch down a little bit on my mat. Let's put our feet flat on the mat. Knees are bent up towards the ceiling. Palms are pressed into the mat. For 100s, we're going to pump our arms, and I'll show you how to do that. But when we're doing that, we're inhaling through the nose for five counts, exhaling through the mouth for five counts. I'm going to take this slow. So bringing the legs up to this tabletop position, we're going to lift the head and shoulders off of the mat, eyes are on thighs. I want you to bring your hands up to hip height, and we're going to tighten the fingers together so we're cupping, cupping our hands. I want you to imagine there's a little golf ball be between your upper arm and your chest. So there's a little space there. So we inhale as we pulse the arms, the palms and the back of the arms. Inhale for five counts, exhaling for five. So it's inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Keep it going. If you want more of a challenge, you can extend those legs up towards the sky, feet in those Pilates stance. Eyes still on thighs. Again, holding that little tomato or orange under your chin. If you'd like a little more advancement, you can slowly lower those legs without arching that back. You want that lower back pressed into the mat, Pressing through the heels, feet are in those Pilates stance. Keep that breath going. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Keep it going. Couple more because I've stopped counting and we've probably hit the hundred, but I wanted you to see the different levels. Couple more if you can do it. Otherwise, bend, hug those knees then, lower that head, rock it side to side. Good, now we're gonna prepare for roll up. I'm gonna give two versions if this is new for you. And, and just working those transverse muscles, this could be very new for you. We're, we're using those deeper transverse muscles in Pilates. So if you haven't built them up yet, it's gonna take time. So for now, for roll up, I want you to just take an inhale as we prepare and on the exhale, just start to walk your hands up those thighs. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, we're just going to walk them down. For those of you who want to do the next level for roll up, we're going to extend the legs nice and long on the mat. Legs are extended with the feet in the Pilates stance. So you're squeezing those heels, squeezing the thighs, tightening those glutes. We're going to lift the hands up towards the sky, palms forward. Navel pulling back to spine. Inhale as we prepare and begin to lift the head and shoulders, rounding up, lifting up creating a nice C curve in our spine, reaching towards those toes, not beyond them. And I don't want you to collapse in that upper body. It's not about touching the toes. It's imagining you're leaning over that barrel. That lower back is pressing back, rounding through that spine. We inhale at the top. 
exhale as we slowly peel it back, keeping that box square. Reaching those fingers nice and long, palms facing up. Again, inhale as we prepare here. Exhale as you begin to lift those hands up. Once the fingertips reach the sky, you begin to peel the head, the shoulders, and round. Leaning over that barrel, reaching towards those toes without collapsing in the upper body. Inhale at the top. Exhale, peel it back nice and slow and controlled. We're going to do two more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, begin to lift and peel. One vertebra, slow and controlled, tightening those glutes, using every bit of our body for this. Inhale at the top. Exhale, through the mouth. We'll do one more. Reach it nice and long. Inhale, prepare. We're lifting those arms. Exhale, peel, squeeze, and lift, and round it. Reach, reach, reach towards those toes, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly peel it back. Don't wobble side to side. Slow and controlled. Quality, not quantity, and Pilates. Very important. Let's point those toes. Let's separate those legs. Reach those fingers nice and long. Nice stretch. Good. I'm going to get into leg circles, but before we do that, let's plant the feet on the mat. Hands are down by our sides. We're going to bend that right knee in, extend it up towards the sky, toe is pointed, grabbing behind the thigh or the shin. Let's just do a gentle, gentle stretch right here. If you have a strap, you can grab the strap. Left leg can be bent if your hamstring's tight or you can extend it. So again, just pulling gently on that leg, or if you have a strap, grabbing onto it with one hand, trying to keep both shoulders pressed into the mat, gentle pull on that strap. And we're gonna breathe into this. Deep inhale through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Now dropping that leg out towards the right, trying to keep both hips still on, pressed evenly into that mat. So again, if you're not using the strap, just gently let the leg fall without having that left hip come off of the mat. So the, stra the strap can help a little bit, just gentle, gentle pull. Again, pressing both shoulders, left hand palm is pressing into the mat. Breathing into this, leg extends back up towards ceiling. If you have that strap, switching hands, right arm comes out to a T, head looks towards that right hand. If you don't have the strap, the strap, just gently cross that leg over and just grab behind the, the calf and just a gentle, gentle pull. Eyes looking towards that extended hand. We're going to breathe into this deep inhale. Exhale it out. One more deep inhale. Exhale it out. Good. Coming back up to center. If you have that strap, letting it go. Let's extend that leg nice and long on the mat. Again, if, if your hamstrings are tight, you can plant that right foot, bend that knee. Otherwise, extend that leg nice and long. We're going to bend that left knee in. Hug it in. Grab the strap. If you don't have the strap, just a gentle pull on that leg. Again, try. I don't want you to lift the head and shoulder. Trying to keep the head 
relaxed. Again, that orange is under, under your chin, so you don't want to hyperextend that neck. If you have that strap holding it in that left hand, gentle pull. Right palms pressing into the mat. Deep breath. Now opening up that leg, letting it fall gently out to the left while keeping that right hip anchored into the mat. Just breathing, relaxing. We'll do one more exercise after this. Now let's cross it over. So again, if you have that strap, switching hands, letting the leg fall, extending left arm out. Eyes looking towards the left hand. Gentle pull on that strap. Again, if you're holding the leg, the gentle pull. One more breath. Good, bringing leg back up to center, lowering it down, extending that leg nice and long. Let's point the toes. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky, fingertips reaching back behind, palms facing up, shoulders away from the ears, and just reach, nice stretch. Deep inhale through the nose, audible exhale. Again, deep inhale. Exhale it out. <sighs> Bringing palms back down towards the sides. We're going to bend that right knee in towards the chest. Extend it up towards the sky and rotate that leg out. So again, if your hamstrings are tight, you can bend that left leg, plant the foot. We're going to create little circles, small circles, about the size of a little salad plate. We inhale as we cross over that center line, exhale on the way up and hold. Little circles like a paintbrush, swoosh. There's a tempo in Pilates, so it's inhale, exhale, hold. Keeping these hips quiet. Inhale, exhale, hold. Do it again. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more. Pressing those palms and shoulders into the mat, navel to spine. Little orange under that chin. There's a lot to think about. Take it nice and slow and controlled. Now we're going to reverse it. I'm getting a little cramp in my thigh, so I'm just going to flex that out a little bit. Pointing that toe, legs rotated. We inhale as we let the leg fall out slightly. Exhale on the way up and hold. Again, little circles. Inhale, exhale, hold. Let's do it again. Three, four, five. Full body engagement. Those palms are pressing into the mat. Shoulders pressing into the mat. One more. Bend that knee, hug it nice and tight. Rotate that ankle around. Opposite direction. Might hear some cracks like I just did. All right, lowering that right foot. Again, you can extend that right leg nice and long. I'm gonna bend mine. My hamstrings are a little tight from my workout the other day. So, planting that right foot, bending that knee. Otherwise, extend it long. We're gonna bend in that left leg towards the chest, extend it up towards the sky, and then just rotate that leg out. So we're turning that out. Box is square, hips are square. Palms pressing into the mat. Really press, press those shoulder blades. Hold that orange under your chin. Inhale, cross over that center line. Exhale and hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Imagine your big toes like a paintbrush. Painting beautiful little circles in the sky. Good. Hold it at the top. 
Inhale as we reverse it. Exhale on the way up and hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Again, inhale, exhale, hold. Couple more. Pulling that navel to spine. Full body engagement right now. We'll do one more. Good. Let's hug that knee in nice and tight. Rotate that ankle around. Opposite direction. Let's prepare for cool down. So let's just bend the knees and we're going to cross one ankle over the other. We're going to gently rock it up to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Welcome back. Let's pull those heels, push those feet together. Sitting up nice and tall, pressing into the thighs, relaxing those shoulders. Let's just breathe, close the eyes. Good, taking the hands towards the front of the feet, shoulders are relaxed. I want you to just lead, let's just lead with the heart. Eyes are looking down, shoulders relaxed squeezing those wings. I like to call the shoulder blades those wings. Squeezing them behind, opening up the chest, eyes looking straight down. Just going to breathe into this. One more breath. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Now we're going to just Surrender to gravity. So we're going to drop that chin towards chest, round our spine forward. Letting the legs fall open, that head drop, rounding in that spine, pulling that navel back towards our spine. surrendering right now to all of it. Pulling that navel to spine, let's slowly round up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Rounding those shoulders back and forward. Good. Extending left leg out. Right foot presses into that left thigh. We're going to adjust our upper body. Both hips are pressed into that mat. Sits bones. Hips are, are square. But our upper body, our torso is reaching towards that extended leg. We're inhaling as we reach up. Exhale as we fold forward. Both hips are even. Wherever your hands can fall, it might be your, your thigh, your shins. If you can grab your toes or the back of your heel, eyes looking down towards the ground. Deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, sinking deeper into that stretch, lowering forehead chest towards the thigh. I'm going to hold this for a couple breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, surrender. Inhale fully, deeply. Exhale fully. Slowly walking those fingertips the leg. Opening legs nice and wide, sitting on those sits bones. Deep inhale. Exhale. Chest is open. Just walking the hands wherever they go. Eyes forward. Breathing into the stretch. Either pointing the toes. Flex. 
I flex, I can drop my forearms down. Just breathing into the stretch. Maybe alternating, pointing, flexing those feet. Doing them at the same time. Point, flex, point, flex. Making our way back up, nice and tall, rounding shoulders again, pulling that left foot in towards the right thigh, readjusting, inhale, lifting, exhale, folding forward, grabbing on wherever you can go right now, deep inhale through the nose, exhale, surrender to gravity. Nice stretch. Deep inhale. Exhale it out. One more. Gently walking those hands back up the legs. Crossing one leg in front of the other. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's just close our eyes, relax our shoulders. We're turning back to just the breath. Let's inhale, lift those arms up towards the sky, pressing palms together head looking up towards hands, eyes can remain closed. We're going to gently bring palms to heart center. Thumbs touching chest at heart center. Let's bow our head. Take this time to thank yourself for making time for your mind, your body, and your spirit. Remembering that you're human, that these feelings and emotions that, that rush over us like waves, they're natural. But you are powerful in how you respond to them. Thank yourself for this time. Promise yourself that you'll continue to make this time for yourself. And as Cody here in El Pescadero in the yoga classes I took with her, she would say, maybe send a loving, kind thought to someone out in the world who needs it. And as we all know with everything going on, there's so many that could use heartfelt thoughts, prayers, our inner energy, our spirit, we can connect with others from thousands of miles away. We are powerful. We are energy. We are light. The love and light within me honors the love and light in every single one of you. Be well, be healthy, be kind, be loved. Namaste. I thank you for spending this time with me, and I hope to see you on the mat again. Remember, the mat is always there for you, and it's a good place to just let it all go. So I hope to see you again. Adios.